What is good, Greg Gang? We're here today. I'm actually about to go squirrel hunting with a pistol. Now you may be thinking, Get a dude, you don't need a 45 to go squirrel hunting. And you are correct. But this ain't a 45. It is a 1911, commonly chambered in 45 ACP. But this in here is actually chambered in just 22 long rifles. So the same thing I would be using normally squirrel hunting, except today I got it in a pistol. Now the place we're squirrel hunting is the same place we hunted on the $100 flea market challenge up on uh, top of a cliff. And needless to say, we're gonna have to get up there again and it ain't gonna be easy, okay? That's why I got my big old massive backpack along with a grappling hook. We're gonna get this done, guys. Like, yeah, it may be hard and really exhausting and I'm already out of breath and I, I, I ain't walked 100 yards yet and it's flat ground too. I don't know why I'm sweating. Goodness, maybe it's this chest strap sweating me too much. But one thing's for sure, I think we should do okay. I mean, I've killed squirrels with pistols before, but never this pistol, and also never with an iron sided pistol. Last year I did it with one of my little Ruger 22s, but it had a little red dot on it. And I also want to say that it took like eight shots, so it's not that easy at all. Another thing I will say is that this is the pistol I'm best with, if that gives you anything. I practiced a ton with this gun. Just your standard 1911, but it's in 22. I'm actually going to throw up the head cam right now, we're going to shoot a few shots at these still targets, just so that y'all can actually believe that I'm capable, because I know I'm capable. I just don't know if you do. Which maybe you shouldn't think I'm capable. Maybe I'm actually not. And we're both about to find out together. Okay, guys. Looks like it's a little bit windy out here. So, uh, it may not be a good thing for hunting up on the ridge. But we're not really, we're not going to give up until it's too late. I'll dump us out some shells right there. Come in here. We'll load up my gun. There's one, two. This magazine only holds ten. So, that's something to think about right there. We got a limited mag capacity. Should be about all. Here we go. Now for the little one, this is the smallest one there. About the size of a squirrel's head. Missed it. No, that's good. Sign. Missed it again. That time I hit it. Alright, so uh, I hit the small one, which is about the size of a squirrel torso. The only thing is, can I actually get this close to a squirrel? Because, well, if I can get that close to a squirrel, then it's in trouble anyhow. I think we'll send one more mag through it and then we'll uh, maybe call it a day. And I mean, go ahead and hike up the mountain because just because we're out here and we got our gun and everything, we're uh, actually still not even close to where we need to be. I mean, we've, we've also got traps up there, so we'll head on up there and check those traps as well while we're passing through. It'll be kind of like just a little checkup hike, I guess. All right, let's see what we can do. Maybe we got like six squirrels or something and they trying to be gangster with me. I hit it once, but that's all you need to hit a squirrel, you know what I mean? Anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and pack up the rest of the bullets just in case I do run into a small army of squirrels. I'll be able to take care of it. Now, I'm about to go over there and climb the mountain, so I'm going to go ahead and get out my rope with my grappling hook. This is going to be really uh, essential because, well, if we don't have the rope to actually get up the mountain, we're not going to be going anywhere at all. Also, guys, before we go ahead and climb this mountain, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. Like, Just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And also, if you haven't turned on the post notifications, go ahead and do that too, because that's really important. Coming here, we're going to do a triple dim brisky knot. That way, we can do whatever we want to, maybe. I don't think that's the name of it. But that's what we're looking for. A good little figure eight, double knot, whatever, grappling hook. Plenty of a line that way we can actually climb. And today, I don't know if you've noticed, we got the chest cam on. So you should get a whole lot of better angles for actually like climbing with a grappling hook. As for my gloves right here, I've actually got, these are a KG fishing gloves. They're made for fishing so that, you know, you don't get your hands sunburned and the fingertips so that you can still work with stuff. But honestly, I use them for everything. Right now, I'm even using them for rope gloves. That way I don't get rope burn. But let's go ahead, grab the grappling hook, and here we go. I'm almost to the point where I need to throw the first time. About right here. I need to get it up there. I don't know if y'all can see it too good, but. Oh, that worked absolutely perfect on our first try, baby. There we go. Maybe the chest cam's just good luck. We're already getting good throws on it. Absolutely, yes sir. Now if I can get up to that tree. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hey, yeah, that'll work. Oh, we'll come around this way. Grab the rope on the other side. Continue on up. 
Just like that, we're up here in record time. That took every bit of like, I don't know, probably 60 seconds. Usually it takes like six minutes, but that was a breeze. The gun I'm using, I already said it's a 1911, but it's actually a GSG 1911 and uh, it was really cheap. It was like 250 bucks and it's a really good gun in my opinion. I think it's a really good 22, especially for how much it costs. But then the grips, the grips, uh, the grips didn't come with it. I got the grips separately. There we go, 10 rounds, load it up. We're loaded. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the safety on. That way we're, well, safe, shouldn't fire. We're good to go. Let's head on up this mountain. We got a pretty good hike ahead of us until we get to where, well, the squirrel hotspot in a way. But don't worry guys, there are trail cameras up ahead and there's also traps for us to check. So that should give us something to do. Right here is trap number one. I don't know if y'all remember it, it was right there. Oh, I think something's came in here. I mean, we didn't get something, but something's been here. Can y'all see that? Like there's a print there. There's a print here, print here, print here. That's all canine too. I don't know if y'all know that, but like canine is a coyote fox type stuff. I'm gonna reopen the dirt hole. What the thing is that it doesn't look like they dug at the hole very much, so I'm just gonna try to pick up some of this dirt and uh, just try to recover some of my trap right there, just so that you know maybe they don't see my trap as much next time. Sprinkle some of that over it. I know I'm doing this with my bare hands. You usually don't want to do this with your bare hands. I feel like that little bit of scent's not gonna hurt it that much. Good thing is right up here we actually got a trail camera, and there's a good possibility it could have whatever that animal was on camera because the camera set up here at a choke point, and anything that runs this trail right here technically should get caught on the trail camera. But then again, we'll see what happens. Do we have our predator on camera? Our suspect, if you will. Let's check it out, we'll go to replay. Looks like we got 49 pictures, so, and then it looks like my battery may have died. It's been a while since I've been up here, so there's me going in last time. We'll play it a little bit fast. There's a deer, okay, deer on the left. Deer running from something. Not sure what that was. Oh man, my battery was too low to get the infrared pictures. That's one thing, you do gotta keep your batteries uh, charged up pretty good. I'm even using some old batteries here. I mean, I guess I kinda deserve that one. What are those white things? Oh wow, it's a random pack of dogs, that's cool. Oh yeah, absolutely, there's some deer. I'm not sure if it's a buck or not. We can zoom in once again and see if it's a buck. Nah, it looks like it's just a doe, that's okay though. Trap number two, unfortunately there's nothing in it. But here's the other trail camera. Okay, 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 so far we got a deer. I'm sure you don't wanna see that. If I see anything super interesting, I'll get y'all out. We got that same pack of dogs that we actually seen over there, so. Just a couple deer and a stray dog. Okay guys, we're actually at the main back at our farthest trap. You could tell us something was around it and was stepping on it and digging at the hole but again we didn't really catch it but now that i've walked a little bit further i'm actually seeing this right here and i don't know if you can see this but that's fresh coyote poo poo okay i mean i'm gonna pick it up because i'm not too afraid of it that's straight fur that's straight deer fur whatever this was which we already know it was a coyote has actually eaten a deer very recently and i know i look absolutely crazy for picking up coyote droppings i guess but i'm actually going to take this right back over here set this beside my trap because it's going to be like an added attractant remember whenever we put the fox pee on it well whenever we put coyote poo poo it's actually going to make it that much better especially since i kind of scraped the dirt back over it this should cover me up pretty good right here's the set there's the hole here's the trap I'm literally just gonna set that stuff right there. The coyotes are gonna love it. They're gonna think, oh, someone's been here since I have. And then they're gonna go back to digging and then may even get something in the hole, which is best case scenario, we end up catching. But then again, I am really close to where all those squirrels was. So right up that trail just a little bit. We should be in business, guys. As long as they don't see me with my bright blue KG blue tigress shirt available now, kindlegrade1.com slash shop or the first link in the description. But yeah, as long as the squirrels don't see that, we should be in business, guys. We're in the squirrels homes now it's just up to us to kill them that sounded really dark but it is what it is
and the only light they were working with is what's reflecting off the clouds. But he was right there whenever I shot him, and then he kind of went over the hill a little bit. I feel like I can still hear him. I think it's him, and he's not far away. He's just out of my view at the moment. Anyways, guys, there went one way down there, but for a pistol with iron sights, we kind of got to get them pretty close. And I mean, that guy, he was within range. Just for some reason, I didn't hit him that shot. That's okay, because there's plenty more squirrels in the woods, plenty more opportunities. And if we play our cards right, we may even get one before the day's out. If we play our cards wrong, we'll, we'll probably just kill one tomorrow. And we're back, guys. It is the next day also. That means we did not kill the squirrel yesterday, but that's okay, because we're out here today, and I think we have a pretty good chance. One interesting thing I do want to share is that uh, yesterday morning, I ate a banana, and since I live out in the middle of nowhere, and, uh, well, a banana peel is an organic material, I just chucked that bad boy right out here in the middle of the yard, and I just want to say, I think it's kind of cool that it is now turned black. In one day, it has turned completely black. I don't know, I thought it was cool. Y'all are probably thinking I'm weird or something, which I'd have to agree with you. But anyways, it's been raining literally all day. I don't know, guys. You Just just listen. If you can hear that roaring sound, that's actually my pond down there leaking out. That's how much water's running. So it's been raining an absolute ton for the last two days, but today it's actually slowed down a little bit. You can see the skies, man. It's probably gonna start raining again at any point but i've came out here today we've got a little bit of break in the weather so i'm thinking you know what man if i'm willing to come outside while it stopped raining maybe some squirrels will be too so i got the 1911 22 i've decided as long as it doesn't keep raining today if i can kill a squirrel i think i want to catch and cook that bad boy like i think that will be ex absolutely exhilarating it'll really get my neurons firing if you know what i mean but anyways this was my number one squirrel hunting spot and i just came over here yelling into it so we're probably gonna move on to my number two squirrel hunting spot or just be quiet as i'm looking i can't see any squirrels and i also can't hear them but you gotta keep in mind all the leaves are wet Therefore, anything can walk around and it's not going to make any sounds. Also, keep in mind, that goes for me too. I could walk right down that mountain and because the leaves are wet, they're not going to crack when I step on them. So basically, I can walk right through there and be almost silent. Especially with all the, like, the water drops dropping off and hitting all around me, just making overall like background noise, I would say. I can actually be extremely stealthy today. That's why my favorite time to go squirrel hunting it's actually when it just rained and everything's still wet because you can stalk them like that. But the downside, I've already said this, but well, they're pretty stealthy too. And I'll probably never hear one at all. It's really up to my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead, put my thinking glasses on. I'm gonna put y'all on the head cam. And if I see a squirrel, I'm just gonna shoot it. Most likely multiple times as well. One of my favorite squirrel hunting methods is the prey and spray where you just send as much lead down range as you can and hope that one of them hit, hit your target. Yeah, that one's a good one. That's the tactic Dharma uses too. almost silent like i'm being really quiet and none of the leaves are cracking and anything and plus with the little bit of noise that i am making the drops of rain are covering up my sound now i actually located two squirrels right down here somewhere so well, i'm just gonna try to sneak up on them and then gonna try to gun them down with my 1911.
Okay, guys. About positive that it went in the hole. There was actually two of them chasing each other, and they were actually chasing each other up and down the tree. I don't know if y'all saw that, but then I shot, and they were completely done, okay? They keep running around some, but then once I got pretty close, they might have saw me. I'm not really sure, but they went in the hole after that. And the thing that I'm thinking is that I don't know if they went in the hole because they saw me, or if they went in the hole because it started raining. Because it had quit raining there for a second, but now the, I'm, ba I'm literally inside of a cloud right now, and uh, well, it's raining pretty good, so. Turns out squirrels are kind of just like us. If it's raining outside, they don't want to be outside. If it's not raining outside, they don't care to be outside. Okay, guys, I'm just going to lay it straight to you. This ain't easy at all. I don't know, guys, but last year whenever I did this, I, I remembered it being pretty easy. I mean, I walked out first cross thing, da -da 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 -da, and I killed it. This has not been the same. I've, I've shot at like six squirrels, I think. I don't know. It's been a lot. And I mean, I'll just be honest, guys. This is... There's my next target. I sure hope this happens. We may get him right here. Just go. Last shot, baby. Oh, he's giving me the easiest shot all day. Oh my God, guys, I'm just gonna be flat out honest with you. This is really hard. I thought my pistol was sighted in, but then again, it probably is, and it's probably just me. Oh gosh. We just spent four shells on that dude, and well, we definitely didn't kill him. This is stink. This is so stinking hard. I have spent an entire magazine of ammo in this one very video alone. That's 10 shots, and I'll be, I'll be, I'll be honest. I think I'm a kind of good shot with a pistol. I mean, I, I challenge you guys to go try it. It, it is not easy. Pick your favorite 22 pistol. Or any pistol, I don't care. Just with bigger calibers, be careful about shooting up. I was actually shooting up upwards, which isn't really a good thing because bullets come down. But I will say I was using a 22. According to the ballistics, I actually know exactly where those bullets are hitting. It's over there in a mountain somewhere. But I'm telling you what, guys, that is that is stinking hard. It is not easy. I mean, I was thinking about it while I was down there. It takes a lot of skills. Like, you, you need to do more than just be able to shoot a pistol. You do need to be able to shoot a pistol, but you also need to know how to be quiet. You're gonna know how to stalk. You gotta know a lot about squirrels. And five, you have to be a pretty good hiker, okay? Like, you have to be able to hike to get to the squirrels. You know, with a rifle, I'll be honest. If I can see see a squirrel there's a good chance i can kill it with a pistol you see a squirrel you gotta go get him and i mean i've obviously not been able to do that so far but since it is saturday i'm gonna go ahead with the verse of the week this one's not really a verse but it's an overall concept in a way it's a really good one though too so lately i've been thinking you know in the world like there we don't okay one second someone's calling me hello lately i've been thinking there's like no place for us to worry in the world and there's no need for us to ever get mad but then i was thinking okay i know two instances the last two days that i've actually got mad and frustrated i was like, almost started crying 
I literally, I started crying for one of them. The first one, I was trying to put in a new trigger, and then all of a sudden it, like, exploded into, like, six pieces, and I almost, I literally almost started crying, and all I had to do is just put the trigger back it together, and I was fine. So that took about ten minutes, and then the other one, what did I do? Hmm. I'm having a hard time thinking. I don't really know what the second one was. But my point is that a lot of the things that we get frustrated with and kind of angry at sometimes, there's really no need to ever get mad at them at all. Like, there's no reason I should get mad if my trigger falls into a couple pieces. Like, yeah, it is going to take my job longer to complete more time. But then again, that's just part of life and there's no real reason to get mad about that. I can't kill a squirrel. It is how it is, man. Sorry. Maybe it just ain't time for the squirrels to die, you know what I mean? But anyways, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. I'm sure you're already subscribed, but if you're not, like, come on, dude, go ahead and subscribe for